Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on EMC consideration. Under this EMC standard, okay, we actually have three types of EMC standard. The first one will be the basic standard, followed by generic standard, and last but not least, product standard. This video, I'm going to discuss the difference and also which one we will actually fall back when we actually do the EMC test and measurement. So this will be the objective of this video. This will be the part 44 series discussion on EMC consideration. If you're keen to know more about EMC, okay, please take a look on the playlist under the description. I have put quite a meaningful, comprehensive discussion on EMC under the playlist. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, feel free to give me comment so that the quality of this channel can be further enhanced. Once again, thank you so much, guys. Okay, let's understand the different device of EMC standard. Okay, so in short, as I mentioned early on on the introduction page, okay, I mentioned that EMC standard can be divided into basic, generic, and product standard. Okay, under the basic standard, okay, we have this ESD, burst and EFT, electrical fast transient, and also the search. Okay, the basic standard are usually the test or measurement procedure that are going to be referenced by product or generic standard. So maybe, for example, okay, the product standard actually mentioned that we also need to test certain basic standard. So this is what you mean. Okay, for example, we, we go through this product standard. So typically, they will be referenced by product or generic standard to do more testing. So basically, this is what you mean under the basic standard. Okay, so typically, we have two types, ES. CISPR 16 or EN 61000 4 something X here. So this will be all the basic tests. Okay, the generic standard basically set the limit for a particular group. Okay, so in short, okay, basically classified into two groups. One will be under domestic or household or industry. Okay, so based where the device will be using, whether is it in household or whether is it inside an industry that we're going to use this device, then we will use different standard. Okay, to test the device. So this actually fall under generic standard. Okay, and another standard which is called the product standard. Okay, so product standard typically they are more tedious, they are more detailed explaining how to test the device here. So this is what it means. Okay, so over here you can see that in fact, more than this four, there are so many product standards. Typically, let's say if it's a household product, then you will use a household standard to test it. If this is belong to IT, okay, then we will use all the different IT standards to do the test and measurement. Okay, if this is an ISM, okay, which means there's some transmission, then again, okay, we will fall back some of the test and procedure okay, to test the device. Okay, whether it's a broadcast receiver and all those associated equipment, then we will use different EMC standard to test your device. In short, okay, the product standard always take precedence over generic standard. Okay, which means that if we have the product standard, then we will fall back on product standard to test our device. If we can't find any product standard, then we will move a step back to use the generic standard to test the device. Okay, so typically, the product and also the generic standard will actually point to certain basic standard for us to test. So this is what I meant early on. Okay, so this is what I have discussed early on. So if there is no product standard exists for a product, then the generic standard are applicable. So the first one that we use, we always want to use the product standard. If we cannot find the product standard, then we will fall back into generic standard. Okay, so generic standard is much more clear cut. Okay, either work in household or industry. Based on that, you actually pull out a different standard to test the device. Okay, most of the time, generic and also product standard actually point to the basic standard. So the basic standard actually has some basic tasks for you to do in order to fully comply the EMC test. Okay, this table can give you a better idea. Okay, for example, this will be all the product 
family standard over here also, all the product standard. So basically you look if there is any category that belongs to your device. Okay, so let's say you, you cannot find okay, any of the product standard, then again, I will fall back on the generic standard. So once I add a generic standard, okay, either I will be used in resident or industry, then I will open up two different standard to test the device. Typically, as I mentioned early on, okay, the product will actually point to certain basic standard to test, same as a generic, they basically will point to have certain basic standard to test. So under the basic standard, you, you can see that there are quite, quite a handful of EMC tests. Okay, so basically, depend on the product standard and so the generic standard, they will point certain tasks to be fulfilled under the basic standard. So basically, this gives you some idea all the different test and measurement under the EMC. Okay, so when I actually give this video, okay, so this will be basically current, okay, as this thing evolve from time to time. So basically, we are going to have more and more EMC standard. So at this moment, like what I mentioned, okay, this is still valid at the point that when I actually deliver this video. However, if you see this video sometime back, okay, so this may need require to add on. Okay, so who must comply with EMC directive? Okay, so compliant to EMC regulation are required by the government in country. Okay, so to compliant, okay, basically based on the different country. Based on the country, for example, Europe, they basically form a Europe standard. So basically you must compliant to the Europe standard, then you can start to sell the product in the Europe countries, for example, here. So you need to definitely compliant to all the EMC regulation that is required by the specific government in the country, then you will be able to export and market your product in the respective countries. Okay, which means that if I make a new device and let's say I want to sell this device in Europe, then I need to ensure that this device is actually compliant to the Europe standard. So once I fully compliant to the Europe standard, then I will be able to sell this product in the Europe countries. If not, okay, I so-called fail to comply to the Europe EMC regulation. Okay, so who need to do this? Basically, you can see, in short, I will just say that it's a manufacturer of electronics products. So there are a few series over here. So you typically can classify them either in use in resident, industry, or also commercial environment. So basically, this fall under the generic test, as I mentioned early on. So in short, any electronics products, okay, you need to ensure that they actually compliant to the EMC directive. Okay, who are the EMC regulator organization? Okay, I have done early on, but I just want to make it easy and complete for this video. Okay, EMC committee can be divided into okay, the international committee such as IEC and CISPA. Okay, so this belongs to the international. So these are without any enforcement. Okay, so this is a uh, so-called something that uh recommend good to follow. Okay, so basically under the legal will be by different countries. For example, let's say I mentioned that under the Europe, okay, EC basically they have this form of standard. So basically, Europe, if you fear to comply under this Europe standard, then you are so-called liability for any punishment under the EMC regulation. Okay, so this is for Europe. We also have SCC. SCC is for USA. VTE is from German. Okay, we also have VCCI in Japan. So basically, over here you can see that based on different region, different country. Okay, so basically you need to ensure that you comply to the different various standard from the different region here. Okay, so this will be my last slide. So over here you can see that again based on the EMC regulation. Okay, you can see that all the different tests that you need to fulfill. Okay, so on top will be under the conductor, below will be under the radiate. Okay, so you also see a special column. This will be under the mu spec, a military spec here. Okay, so this is US. Okay, so this is Europe. This is Japan. So with this, I'd like to conclude my discussion. So on the next few series discussion, I will discuss a little bit more on EMC standard. So Stay tuned over here to receive more regards on EMC test and measurement standard. With this, I see you soon. Thank you so much for your strong support. See you guys.